Hey my folks, how are you? Hopefully you guys are doing well. So lately I'm not in a mood ever uh, to sit down and do videos because what I have shared with you before, it's been just what I've been using if I use it. With that being said, I mean, I'm not even into doing makeups as you probably heard and saw if you didn't, um, my last video, uh, please take a moment to subscribe. I hope you do. I mean, here I try not to put people down and bring negativities and, uh, you know, it's makeup is fun to get away from other things. And that's exactly what I like to do here. But sometimes just have to step on the reality and let you guys see the real, you know, me and real life. And this is what it is. I am a person. I'm a human. So, of course, I cannot just be always in a la la land. So, you know, I like to share my moods and my things that happens. Lately, I was just not feeling like doing makeup. But uh, today, this video, I uh, wanted to share this because I bought a few things like a month and a half ago, even more than that, I think a couple of months ago. And I wanted to sit down and do this video, but it never happened. And I was thinking, you know, spring is now here. It's already like it is here. So let me go ahead and share what I bought. And I haven't like used these ColourPop makeups and drugstore makeups for a while. So I thought maybe go ahead and share with you guys. It's not always about expensive brand, highly bougie brands. Um, ColourPop is great for their eyeshadows. I love their eyeshadows. Um, the palette eyeshadows even their uh, super shock highlighters are good and their um super super shock uh, eyeshadows are also good i don't really care for their lipstick because they tend to go bad the shelf life is like really short and when we start buying so much it goes ex you know expires you're like me then you're definitely go not going to go through with the tons of lipsticks and uh, it's just pointless of uh, buying it although uh colourpop is little cheap and they're very fairly good price uh five ten dollars a lipsticks is not as bad to spend you know forty dollars versus so anywho so i wanted to share with you what i bought here from ColourPop. i've been like holding it and i wanted to share with you of course i like i mentioned so i opened this one from the pack so this one right here called the glow glitter and I'm not sure when they released this um, collection because ColourPop, I cannot keep up with them. They always like every day they have four or five releases. But this something interested me to actually buy it. It uh, caught my attention. So I was like, okay, I need to step out of my comfort zone and let's just create something different. Maybe for the summer, before summer or uh, spring i just don't want to stick with the uh, nudes only so i thought maybe go ahead and get this one so this is the packaging beautiful packaging lilac green and this is the inside right here i'll try to put a swatch on the side here if possible um with my hands and you'll see how they look like on swatches i have not touched it since a couple of months almost yes i know it's bad but i just wanted to wait uh, to share with my friends as you guys and then i'm going to go ahead and use it i'm probably going to use this product in my next video so stay tuned and subscribe please if you haven't already so this is what the colors looks like this color these two are so beautiful and perfect for uh spring and summer sometimes you know and i love the fact that they have the black and the brown here and i always look for like a deeper shade if possible and this tone right here is perfect for me it's right here and of course this one is going to be uh pretty good for inner corner and i love the palette that the way they did it's perfect so this is what i got and then along with the same collection starlight collection okay is that a starlight or is it uh, a glow glitter okay so i guess the palette name is glow glitter but the collection is uh, starlight so this is a shimmery body powder 
um, and I am not really into it, but I thought, you know, this summer I'm going to try to like put it on my decolletes, on my chest and stuff like that. For that reason, I thought I'm going to go ahead and get this one. And it came shattered, um, as you probably can see with my lighting here sucks, but yeah, it came shattered. So I had to press it back in with the shifter right here. You can see like how messy that is. And um, of course, I love this little square rectangling, you know, packaging. It reminds me of Marc Jacob. So it's like very sleek and small. It's cute. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and put this back in here. Let me see if I can show you what is the color. It's kind of like golden and uh, for summer approaching. So it's probably going to be perfect as of right now it's kind of very goldeny for my even for my skin tone i'm more like a olive to neutral undertone with uh, some dry patches so i'm like combination and dry patches and this weather is just killing me it's not getting any good because you know the spring break we had a heavy snow and right now like literally a couple days ago it was 77 and then suddenly the next day it start raining even it was humid today it's so cold outside anywho this is the thing and the summer is going to be really hot I can already tell so this is how it looks like and excited for this one to see what I will do with it. Uh, so the next thing I bought here is this uh, one, the same collection, which is uh, Going Strong. Is that what it is? I'm not sure. Here, that's what it is. And this one came with the two Super Shock Shadow. And if you're not familiar with the Super Shock Shadows, they're like glittery or shimmer glitter. I don't know. It sounds really bad, but it uh it's like a very moussey soft glitter and it's not bad so this is the gold right here again very soft um and shimmery and that other one like this one right right here the sole for the body shimmer it's really shimmery use swatches for that super shock shadow it's gold of course and they're really nice and soft and cozy and moussey kind of uh, eyeshadow. It's really nice. If you haven't had one, I would highly recommend get one of these. Not this color, the color that you like. So the next one I have here, this one, it's like a, a periwinkle uh, blue tone. And this one's so pretty. Silvery blue tone. Love this one. You know, just uh, do a little... Uh, what you call it like neutral with the pop of this color right here would be beautiful you know i mean i say these things but i don't even wear it i need to start doing that i am just so bad at uh coming out of my comfort zone as i'm getting older and i'm like not want wanting to do this back then when i was at least uh seven or eight years younger I would be doing this, you know, I would be creating like all kind of uh, a colorful look, but I'm not sure what's going on with me lately. Just don't want to do any colorful look. What's up, girl? You know, crazy. Anyway, so along with that, I bought another two palettes, which you guys probably already seen. If you didn't, then this one right here. And uh, this is not like something new, but it's new. It's about, uh, I would say... A couple months old so this one i bought one from alta probably saw the video if you didn't but i wanted to get a color that's one uh for my contour darker color and the other color i wanted to get is a lighter one for my under eyes because i have heard that this right here is comparable with the charlotte tilbury it's finely and fine finely milled and very soft so that's why I wanted to get two different colors. But when I went to my local Alta here, Alta store, they didn't have a variety of colors, but the one she gave me was kind of dark. Like it wasn't good for my under eyes nor for my uh, cheekbones, which is a bronzer. So I got the color here, Fair 2, using for my under eyes. And this is how it looks like. Again, it reminds me of uh, Marc Jacob packaging, which Marc Jacob is actually pulling out of uh, makeup 
uh, making makeup. So he's just going to keep his uh, like uh, fashion stuff, like eye uh, glasses and uh, clothing lines. And he's no longer going to have a makeup. That's what I heard. But I hope I'm wrong. Okay, so this is what it looks like. This is a light packaging. Love the color uh, packaging. And this is the color I have fair to. Again, for my under eyes, that's why I got this color. And I'm going to peel this one right now as with you guys here because it's a satisfy these stickers. See how fun that was? At least it was for me. It does come with a shifter and it does come with a puff, which I probably won't use it. I might. The one I have here is color dark 18 for my bronzer so the color here of course it's going to be dark and um again looks like this and like i said i'm using this color for my bronzer and contour that's why i inten intentionally got the darker shade in dark 18 so this one right here uh the packaging is same and uh let me take this one off again All right so this is what it looks like i um i was so excited to get these little ones again i'm just getting it out of this bag i have everything in this bag all my drugstore newest things that i bought so i just kept it in here i'll be doing drugstore makeup with a uh, color pop uh in it so stay tuned for that so the next one I have here is a set on a sapphire um, eyeshadow because I have heard the people that I uh, follow on YouTube, some of the girl, girls, uh, they compare this with Charlotte Tilbury's eyeshadows. And I mean, the packaging wise is different, but I can see why they did. And of course, ColourPop eyeshadows are great. So the packaging is clear, which is I love. I don't care. And it's kind of like, like the plastic is thick, not cheap. And just because it's a four in one, anyway, so they're, they're like this and it's just four shadows. So it kind of looks like Charlotte Tilbury's eyeshadow. So anywho, so the sapphire looks like that's the color. It's again, out of my comfort zone. I don't do a lot of blue shadows, but this time I thought, you know, I'm gonna go ahead and get the blue because they look really nice. So the next um, thing I have here is a Shorebet and it's neutral. Of course I had to get the neutral. And this one is not like a neutral neutral. It's one, this one is more like um, mauve neutral. I'm probably gonna get couple more i'm not sure which other ones more like a neutral ones but this is another uh shade right here and of course the price points and everything i'll try to include it so the glow glitter i'm looking at from my phone the glow glitter this eyeshadow palette was 14 dollars, and these little ones are 10 dollars a piece versus a charlotte tilbury which uh looks like this is 40 dollars or 58 something like that so yeah, it's like steel. <laughs> if you can get your hands on these shadows, these are good. And they have a variety of shades, as you can see right here. Um, you could just pick and choose which one you want. Bunch of eyeshadows right here. And I got this one right here. I don't see this sapphire. Probably it was a limited ed edition, so I'm not sure. Anywho, so those are that. And then last item I have here is this one. Um, this been released for a while and I wanted to get this because, you know, uh, this Bare Essential, that's what it named, perfect name. And I know it's a big palette and it's not very travel friendly, but I wanted to get this one because it's kind of like Natasha Denona's um, Glam palette or the neutral ones. It reminds me of that. And also, it's something like this I have from, do you guys remember Lorac uh, Cosmetics? If any of you do, please comment down below. I would love to know if you guys know. The Lorac Cosmetics uh, went back then, back in 2008, 9, 10, or 14. They were like biggest hit. And they had a palette like this. They had a palette in blue. So that kind of reminded me of this one. It also kind of looks like a Morphe palette. But I just don't like Morphe's anymore. I'm just not into Morphe as much. So the ColourPop here, this one uh, has pretty much all your bare essentials that you need. The black one, the uh, inner corner, the browns, the glitters, and uh, 
you know, taupe shades, gold shade. So that's why I got this one. And they have a tons of other one to pick from. So when you go to the website, just pick your pick your shades, whatever you like. Not that I'm telling you to go get it right now, but I'm just saying that you, if you do want to pick a shadows from ColourPop. I also so was like, I saw Hindash, uh, the makeup artist, he came up with the palette prior to this a new one. Um, probably right here you can see. He just released a new one as well, but I was very tempted to get it. But then I was thinking, you know, I'm not going to use it because I have this Flamingo from uh, Violet Voss when they released this one. I have this for a while now. And I bought this, I don't even use it. So every spring I look at these colors and I get tempted and I think like, okay, I should buy it, but I stopped buying it. So Hindash released that palette and that kind of reminded me to pull out my, like these um, spring shades. So this is a uh, Wet n Wild. This is also old one. So I'm probably going to do a, the reason why I showed you guys this because I wanted to kind of create a spring look or like the neutral, like um, more like what you call it, uh, lilac -y look. That's why I wanted to share this with you guys. Anywho, I'm going to go ahead and take off today. Hopefully you enjoy my video here, what I bought from ColourPop. If you do, please don't forget to give me a thumbs up and don't forget to uh, share this video and subscribe to my channel before you leave. I'll catch you on my next video very soon. Take care. Bye.